So if you're following me on Twitter, you probably already know about this. And if you're not, come on, I promise there's some cool stuff sometimes. Please go follow. But for the past month, a little bit over a month, I've been working on a SaaS product with my friend Robert. Now, like four months ago, I didn't even know what a SaaS product was, but we jumped into it. And yesterday was the day we launched. So today I want to go over what it is, why it exists, show you a little bit about it, and then what the future plans for it are. So let's start off with what exactly is it. So the name of the product is called Crossa. And what it means, it means cross in Icelandic. So this tool is going to be a cross posting tool for blogging. Our goal was to focus on two things. Well, one of course, to make cross posting really easy. And then the second one to create a nice editor on the website so people could like actually write out their blogs on there and use the whole workflow within the actual application and then post their articles to however many blog sites they want to. Now, why did we decide to build it? If you've ever tried to create a startup or something along those lines, you know, the most important thing is you have to solve a problem. And the problem here is pretty straightforward. Cross posting is annoying. If you don't know what cross posting is, it's posting your blogs in more than one place so that each algorithm of each platform can grow your blog and more people can see it. And the main question we get is what happens to the SEO of it? Well, there's this thing called the canonical URL, which whenever you're cross posting on all the other platforms, you usually have to set manually. But with Crossa, it does all of that stuff for you. So your SEO is handled and your blog should be able to appear perfectly and all point to the main blog that you wanted to point to. Another big thing when cross posting is when you're trying to put something on Medium versus Dev2, they look different. There's different workflows for it. So you have to do all these manual changes and it's just it's just a pain. So me and Robert decided like, why not build a tool that does all that for you? And that's what Crossa is. So right now our focus is to simplify cross posting for your blog. But I think going into the future, we're gonna go a little bit wider and focusing on helping you grow your blog and making it simple to do so. So let's show you a little promo video that Robert made to get you hyped up and then we'll get into the actual product and go through it, see how it works. So hopefully now you're hyped and uh, let me show you around the actual product. So, all right, this is our landing page. Our main thing, simple cross posting for your blog posts. Instead of spending hours copy pasting your blog everywhere, making sure it's all perfect for each different platform, you just have to do it once with the click of a button. So as you see right now, we're publishing to Medium and Dev2 and Hashnode is coming really, really soon. I would say in the next two weeks, maybe. And we got focus on three things. So cross posting to multiple platforms, that's a given. Never losing your work, we constantly save it. So anytime you make a change, it's saved to the database so you'll never lose it. And trust us, we've tested, we're trying to make it lose the work somehow, but it's always saved. You don't have to worry about that at all. And we have a nice editor so you could upload and write your post from scratch. So you can just work within Crossa, do everything you want in here and then post it with the click of one button. So to start off, we have a 14 day free trial. All you have to do is just log in. And once you're logged in, this is what our dashboard looks like. If you have a trial, you'll see a little button over here to upgrade if you want. But the magic behind Crossa is all you have to do is add some API keys here. These are pretty easy to find. Navigating to medium settings, go to account section, integration token, just copy paste that token in here. You save it and now you're ready to create. So we have nothing here. We can go either go to the create screen, drop in a file, a markdown file, or we can create it from scratch. We click create it from scratch. It creates a new draft for you. So we can, if we go back, we can see there's a draft with no image or anything, but we can add a cover image here. I don't know, I pulled some random image about Flutter 2 into here. Let's say Flutter 2 is the best. And if you go to dashboard, there you go. There's your article. You're able to go into it, edit it. And then you can write your canonical URL. If you're publishing it on your own website, you paste it in here. Then have some tags, maybe something like Flutter, Dart, and then you can start writing your article here. So one thing to note, you already have your title up here. So just start writing the content. Flutter 2 made everything better. And then it's a markdown, so you could you know do all the markdown stuff, how it made it better, 
something like that. I don't know. And then you can see how it would look like by the, with this preview button. So you'll notice our published two things are grayed out. And that's because we don't have any API keys in here. I'm just going to put some test stuff in here, save those settings. And now you see they're, they're available. So we can publish to both of these. Of course, since we did that test stuff in there, you're going to get some errors when we try to publish. But I just wanted to show you that these buttons actually work. And then we have two modes to publish. So you can publish to draft if you want to test around, play with CrossSet to make sure everything gets published nicely. You would probably use a draft, but if you are comfortable with it, you believe that it works great, you're able to publish directly. And then this is where it becomes super nice. You can choose, for example, Medium to be your canonical URL. Then you'll publish to Medium, publish to Dev2, and Dev2 will have your Medium canonical URL so that your SEO is all great and everything looks good. So you can go ahead, try to publish the draft. You'll see we have problems going on. The access token is invalid or has been revoked, which makes sense. It doesn't even try to publish in Dev2, but you'll see some errors like this. And if you update your tokens, everything should work fine. And actually I decided to put in the correct token. So now if we click publish, you'll see medium worked, Dev2 worked, and we have a link to the medium article. Flutter 2 is the best. Flutter 2 made everything better. It looks amazing. If we go to your stories, you'll see Flutter 2 is the best. It's a draft. It's not published yet. You can do it to the actual published site. And then if we check Dev2, we see Flutter 2 is the best again. It's in draft mode. And you can work with it from here. So that's Crossa. Now me and Robert have been using it for a while. We've seen it improve our workflow a lot more. And me and Robert have our own blog sites, so we just write markdown files for that. We drop it in here, and with one click of a button, we can cross-post all the platforms. It's really simple to use and has saved me a lot of time already. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. It's just crossset.io. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what plans you got. I'll link to Robert's video talking about this too if you want to check it out. So yeah, that's the story about how we launched a SaaS product in about 40 days. Now the future plans for it, we're gonna add a lot more supported blog sites. All I know is we're gonna be working super hard on it, trying to make it better and better every day. And hopefully it helps a lot of you grow your blogs and, and hopefully reach a broader audience. So again, make sure to take a look at Crossa and see you next week.